Today on Your Family Personal Chef, we're gonna look at something known as the pork chop. We're gonna do it a little differently. Today, we are going to stuff the pork chop with portobello mushrooms, some pine nuts, a little bit of onion, and we're gonna make it all taste good. Coming up right now. If you like this video, please don't forget to click the thumbs up icon. And if you like more of these, please subscribe. Sometimes we find it hard to come up with new ways to prepare our family supper. I like to usually pick up my protein and then think of what I can do to bring it to a new level. This usually has me staring at the pantry, wondering what I can do. Then I usually get the inspiration from the things I don't have in stock. I want to make a stuffed pork chop with a side of Brussels sprouts. And since my mushroom mixture yields more than enough for the stuffing, I'll add it to the sprouts along with some uncured bacon. Here's what we'll need. Two thick pork chops, four portobello mushrooms, a handful of pine nuts, one large onion, one quarter pound of non-salted thick slab pork belly, 20 large Brussels sprouts, some butcher's twine, salt and pepper to taste. First, we have to clean the portobello mushrooms. If left on, the gills, or lamellae, will leach into your dish, turning everything a very, very dark brown. Then, we'll chop into one half inch pieces to render out the moisture. Chop off, lay it down flat and firm. Split it in half. Peel off the outer layer of skin. Peeling an onion. Now that we have our onion peeled, you're going to make cuts. Not all the way through, down. With your knife at an angle, on a downward tilt, fingers out of the way, slide through. Then it's just a matter of chopping. That's all we have left. That goes in the bin. And there, you have a chopped onion. Peeling a Brussels sprout. First thing you want to do, cut off about a half an inch of the bottom. And then like a cabbage, you want to peel off the leaves until everything is nice and clean. See there's no dirt, no bugs. That, my friend, is a beautiful Brussels sprout. Have a look at the next one here. Brussels sprouts grow in stalks. So one stalk can yield probably about 20 or 30 Brussels sprouts. And these little morsels are really, really good. Especially the way we're gonna do them. We're gonna saute them up. And there you have some Brussels sprouts. Now, the way we're gonna prepare them is we're gonna chop them up. Take your knife, cut your sprout in half, and then do the same for this sprout. There you have Brussels sprouts ready to be fried. You see we have a really nice thick cut pork chop here. That's probably about an inch and a half, but we don't want it that thick because we're going to stuff it. So what we're going to do is butterfly this pork chop with the fat on the outside. Halfway in the pork chop, halfway down, and we just want to slice just till we hit the fat. In a hot, dry pan, you want to roast the pine nuts to bring out the oils and flavor. Constantly move the nuts around in the pan to keep from burning. 
This should take about five minutes. Now we add some grapeseed oil to the pan and prepare to saute the onions. I'll then add the portobello mushrooms and these will release their moisture and shrink in size. With your mushrooms and onion mixture finished, put aside on a plate to cool. Pork belly renders down to create crunchy bits that add texture and flavor to the dish. What we're going to do is cut it in half, cut it in half again. quarter-inch pieces and these are going to render down and then we're going to cook our Brussels sprouts in them and it is going to be delicious. Always keep a firm grip on your knife. Fingers back and out of the way. I've added all the chopped Brussels sprouts to the pan and I'll start to saute adding some stock to prevent sticking with the rest of the mushrooms also cooking on the side. Once your mushroom stuffing has cooled, add the pine nuts and mix. Here's where the fun starts. On a seasoned pork chop, add the stuffing mix, about three tablespoons. Then lay out four strands of butcher string to tie up the pork chops for cooking. Trim off the loose ends with a pair of scissors. Remove any loose string and prepare your pan to brown the chop. In a hot pan, you want to brown all sides of the chop, starting with the stuffed side first to seal in the mixture. Don't forget to get a nice golden brown on the fat. Once all the sides are browned, you can finish in a 350 degree oven for about 15 minutes. When you remove pork from the oven to rest, you can cut off the string. Here's our finished dish with Brussels sprouts and mushrooms and the stuffed pork chop with a demi-glaze and fried pork on top. If you like this recipe, please leave a comment and a like. And if you'd like to see a particular recipe or topic, let me know. Don't forget to subscribe. I'll be putting new content on this site weekly. And if you want more information, you can head over to the personalchef.blog where you can print the recipes presented here and I add new content every other day. Thank you for watching. I look forward to helping you eat healthier, shop smarter, and cook better.